Welcome back to Trials of Cold Steel. This should be video number 34 so far, I think. Um, uh, let's get this over with. Uh, Erebonian history question. I will have to look at this up on, on my second playthrough if I want to get all the AP. Middle Ages War of the Lions was brought to an end by Emperor... Uh, when did the war... I have no clue. So I guess it's got to be like something a long time, right? Uh, this? This should be the right answer. It doesn't matter anyways, right? Because uh, I could be right or wrong. Oh yeah, different one. Art question. Mr. Uh, wants A wants to draw a rough colored watercolor image. Which of the following styles would be most... Oh yeah, this is the one that... Um... Ah, crap. I should have paid attention. They said about sketch... Damn it! Uh, crocus? Ah, oh, I got it wrong. Damn. Well. Oh. Midterms day two. Yeah, until like you know, there's more. <laughs> I should have paid attention or studied, but you know that's what happens. Oh yes. Okay, I should know this. Military science question. Figure 1 uh, depicts a military formation. What type of unit is currently advancing? That would be the armored... Uh, yeah. The one in the top, like the envelope, should... Wait. I know engineer. That's way in the back. Yeah, engineer is in the back. Infantry, yeah, is the X one. And the command should be the line in the back, in the middle. Yeah, this should be easy. I know this. Direction advance, so that's uh, armored, like tanks or whatever vehicles. Yep, got that one right. I can't believe I got the first one correct. July something. So if you would have picked this, uh, you know, it's a good thing I pick uh, the bonding with Ma um, Usus and you know, and I would have know that about the symbols. So it's a good thing I did that. So, uh, let's see. Oh, this is the Orbal Science, the one that uh, Marcus and uh, the following statements about Orbments, all purpose to be true, which one is not? Oh, crap. Oh, yes, yeah, so they said something about quartz and, wait, Orbal Energy recovers. Oh, crap. This is a tricky one. I don't know. Yeah, quartz. This is true, I think. Yeah, this is true when they use the, you know, quartz or whatever. Arts. Allow arts usage without quartz? Huh. Could be this or this. Arbal energy recovers over time. Yes! Because I know something about that, you know. You gotta use something, right? The art or orbs? Oh, no. I think this should be the final one, I think. Ugh. So I got one wrong so far. Political, economic... Oh, no. Of the following laws enacted last year, which came into force first in... Uh, I have no clue. National Criminal Law Act. I have no clue this poop. <laughs> I think this is the one if I would have studied with uh, Fee and... Yeah. Imperial Public Trans... Wait, hold on. Following laws enacted last year, which came into force... This one? No. I have no clue. I'm gonna guess. Oh! I should have think about it, but whatever. I can't like sit there and sit too long. Oh, never mind. There's more. It's too bad I didn't study all of it. Sorry, Sarah. This is the last one. Oh no! What is this? Combat studies questions. Emergency CPR is divided into roughly four stages. Oh, CPR. Oh crap. Check if the person is breathing. Check if the person is conscious. Perform 
chest, commission, rescue Beth, call for help in a loud voice. That should be... Wait, hold on. The person is breathing. Uh... That should be easy, right? A, B, C, D? Yeah, this is CPR. I, uh... I've never done CPR, like, in real life. Not yet, with, but I have to do it and learn about it if I see someone drown and... Check if the person... Uh, put these stage in the correct order. Uh, call for help in a loud voice. D B A Yeah, I mean just in case Yeah, you call for help in a loud voice while you're getting ready like if there is no one else, right? This should be Yeah, and then B check that the person is conscious Yeah, and if he's not breathing a and then C perform. Yeah, if no one else is so it's got to be this, right? Oh! <laughs> I can't believe I failed this one. That's got to be A, B, C, D. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. I'm making through four days of exam. Yay, I'm a failure. But if it was like that four days of exam in real life, like, you know, like the real test, yeah, that's gonna be pain. Wow, the rain just ended. Damn it! I got like, what, three wrong, I think? It's over. Yeah, Fee's uh, worst nightmare. Psst, Emma was enjoying it. And Marcus and... These are free days, so take a chance to... Yeah, and I need to save. Because I need to take a break. Yeah. Next Wednesday afternoon too. Yep. So next Wednesday is uh, when we'll know we're going for our next field study. Exotic trip. Huh. Get some business to take care of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do some shopping and stuff. And tomorrow night, so I'll, yeah. Oh man. Hold on a second. Damn, I got a phone call while it's like loading. Wow. Sorry I'm back, uh, yeah, of course, phone call, but let's just continue here. And I'll keep on soaring, at least until the results come back. <laughs> I sympathize, but personally, I've got a good feeling about these. How about you, Emma? How do you think you did? Well, I don't think I did too badly, all things considered. Must have cheat, because, you know, you got your magic. <laughs> just... Just stop before you embarrass yourself. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see what next week's results look like. Yeah, I can't wait to see mine. Yay. Anyway, what do you think that was all about with Instructor Sarah? Oh, you mean that whole thing about going out of town to meet someone? Going out of town? Won't be back until tomorrow night? It's almost as if... Uh, I was gonna be drunk. She's going to meet her secret lover? Oh. Impossible. The Empire hasn't yet turned out a man desperate enough to woo that alcoholic typhoon. 
you have a point. I can't deny she's got the looks to snare a man, but with that personality and that lifestyle... <laughs> you guys are terrible. I totally agreed, though. Ouch. Not surprised to hear that from you, though, Reen. She always seems to dump the most work on you. Yep. Will you be helping the student council again tomorrow? That's the plan. Heck, I'm almost looking forward to being the student council's errand boy after holding up studying for so long. Perhaps so. Oh, please let us know if you plan on exploring the old schoolhouse. Yeah, I'd be glad to lend a hand this time. Thanks. Better watch out, though. I might take you up on that offer. Ooh, looks like we're all up for a little exploration this time. Oh, yeah. I don't see Gaius and Fee. Huh. Oh. Come to think of it, where did Gaius run off to? Yeah. He mentioned the principal wanted to have a word with him. You think he went there? Oh, yeah. Wonder what that was about. I hope he hasn't gotten into trouble. I mean, I doubt he would. I have no idea. Fee and Laura left early, too. Oh, wow. I forgot about Laura. I was kind of hoping we could all walk back to the dorm together for once. That sounds nice. Hmm. Uh, she knows, Emma. Hmm? Hey, so this might just be my imagination, but do those two seem kind of awkward around each other to anyone else? R really? So you think so too. It seems like it started around the beginning of the month. I wonder if something happened then. It's like they've been avoiding each other ever since. Huh. Hmm. You say that, but I did not take either as the type to dwell on petty issues or misunderstandings. Neither did I. We've been trying to suss out what the problem between them is, but so far, no luck. I wonder if that's what that was all about. Did you see something, Machius? What happened? Well, do you remember the day we gave our group reports on what happened during last month's field study? Huh. We gave a truthful account, including the part where Fee used an explosive to blast open the door to my cell. Yeah. Yeah? That's when we found out that Fee used to be in a Jaeger Corps. That really threw me for a loop, but what does that have to do with Laura? Well, when that came up, I couldn't help but notice Laura had a rather unpleasant expression. Hmm. It flashed across her face for only a moment, though, so I wondered if I had just imagined it. Interesting. But even if we assume that's true, what reason would she have to be upset? I can hardly hazard a guess. We all have certain things we'd rather keep to ourselves. Yep. We even have a member of this very class who remains tight-lipped about her own family, after all. Yeah. Do you really have to drag me into this? <laughs> my apologies. I meant no offense. I do have my suspicions as to your lineage, however. Really? Ugh, you. Now, now, getting angry won't accomplish anything. Don't worry. We're not gonna twist your arm into telling us. When you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of it or anything. It's just, if everyone knew, it'd make things awkward between us, and I don't want that. Welcome back, my lady. Huh. Huh? Wait a minute, so is that the maid yep it is and she came for her Alyssa what so does that mean Alyssa is a noble also Sharon oh she knows her Sharon it's so delightful to see you again <laughs> yeah she came looking for her oh hey it's that maid I ran into the other day yep you know her what are you doing here she didn't. Mother didn't. Uh-oh. <laughs> but of course, I was sent here at the behest of the chairman herself. Starting today, I will be assuming the position of caretaker for Class 7's dormitory. Oh, nice. Caretaker, huh? <laughs> she can, like, do my laundry or something. Sharon Kruger. It's a pleasure to maid. make your acquaintance, everyone. My name is Sharon Kruger. Hello, Sharon. I am a servant in the employ of the Reinford household. 
Lady Elisa's family. And you're my master. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's I not really do all I can nice, to be of service to you, so please keep me informed of anything you might need. Oh yeah. Well, let's go look for the Holy Grail. <laughs> not really. So yes, finally, chapter three, Beyond the Railways. Damn, it's been like what thirty-four videos or some. Uh, I think I should. I don't know. I still got a way to go. I should be getting there to the halfway mark. I don't know. Wait until my friend say something in the comments. Or just, you know, another free day. So yeah, more bonding. And the old man is not walking there for some reason. I guess his legs got tired. <laughs> but he'll be back. Walking around on, you know, on the central place. Now can I save? Whoa! What, Elliot? Oh, nice. Damn, she's a really good cook. The maid. Is that bacon and that's really good breakfast. Simply spectacular. Just how many different types of food are there here? Nice. This looks more than edible. I believe this is what they call an imperial breakfast. Wow. That's right, Emma. It's a traditional Erebonian style of breakfast. I must apologize. It's taken me some time to familiarize myself with this kitchen, so my cooking has been a bit lackluster. It's okay. Come now, Sharon. Your skill is something to be praised. Damn. This is far more colorful and varied than the breakfast served in my own home. I would compare this spread favorably with the breakfast served in the Duke's household. <laughs> I'm honored that you think so. Perfect. I've also brewed both tea and coffee if anyone would like some. Nice. I'd like the coffee first and then the tea. I don't know what happens if you mix together. I've never done that before ever. And yeah. I get the feeling Elisa is less than impressed with the meal. It sounds like they had a big argument yesterday. Hmm. Yeah, looks like Alyssa doesn't like her mother. My lady, please. I wonder why. I truly don't believe the chairman sent me to keep an eye on you like that. She simply sent me so that her beloved daughter might have fewer inconveniences in her daily life. I can take perfectly good care of myself, thank you very much. Oh, what a baby. <laughs> Sorry. Damn, and loudmouth. Oh, oh there's Gaius and I'll take this up with her myself then. Is she in the office at corporate today, or is she out on inspection or something? I believe she'll be dining with the Ministry of Railways president in the capital today. Jeez. After that, she'll be continuing her inspection tour, so she won't be back in Ruhr for another five days. Damn, busy mom. Does she ever slow down? I'm surprised she doesn't burn through a pair of shoes a week. <laughs> There's Laura. Anyway, I'm not going to take this lying down. Everyone's hearing this. She stuck her nose into things one too many times. Damn. I can't believe that R actually stood for Elisa Reinford. Yep, R Reinford. Yep, this is finally her last name that we finally found out. Yeah, she's one of the, you and know. From the sound of it, her mother's the company chairman too. Yep. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that Elisa's mom is basically in charge of the continent's biggest industrial company. Her family's probably got more money than most of the aristocracy. Jeez. I can see why she'd want to keep her family under wraps, what with yeah. all the nobles here. Yeah, that's why. Anyway, I object to everything about this. Oh, come on. Considering how busy Mother is, I'm sure she needs your assistance far more than I do. Probably she hired another maid. <laughs> I knew it. She can, like, hire a lot of maids You're really around concerned her. about her, aren't you? <laughs> the way you two care so much for each other deep down is one of the reasons I'm so proud to serve you. Th that's preposterous. Jeez. Oh, my lady, I almost forgot to mention that I made plenty of your favorite apricot jam. Ooh, nice. Would you like me to spread some on your toast? <laughs> this is awkward. Ooh, really? Are you kidding me? I mean, stop <laughs> treating me like a child. <laughs> So yes, I wow. would like some jam. This it's is embarrassing. Heartwarming to watch. But oh well. 
Looks like Sharon's got her number. That's her favorite food. We got that. After the beginning of the day, Sharon's peerless breakfast. The members of Class 7 left out to go to their daily routine. Wow. I wish I had breakfast like that in real life, but... Anyway, meanwhile, we went to check the task of student console. Oh, yeah. More tasks. You know, the usual finding stuff and deliver items and stuff. Oh, boy. Ooh. Now, this time, they, these two are important, but like, born to be horrible. So, we got this. Of course, Principal Van Dyke, the old man, you know. Yep, as usual. What, what's this? Yeah, George and Angelica this time. We're testing the Orbal bike's capabilities on the highway. Yeah, that's the one that she was riding. If you're curious, come to talk to us in the engineer building. I uh, will do this second last, and then this one will be the last one. The secret admirer. That would be Vincent. Some fair maiden has sent me several messages from her. And who could blame her? I know who she is, so... Okay, I just have to find her. Come on, it's supposed to be a secret. Alright, we'll do this one first. Get this out of the way for this video. Quest from George and Angelica. It's about the rope bike, too. Yeah. Let's do this. Leroy! <laughs> no. Alright. Oh, wow. Now I got three bonding points. So let's see what everyone's doing. Huh. Crows right there in the pawn shop. I haven't visited the pawn shop. Damn. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. What's in the academy? Ah. Eusis is right there. Academy field. And Marcus, is, Marcus and Emma there. Okay. Yeah. Alright, uh, hold on. Where, where is it again? So, yeah, chapter 3. Where is this? Uh, this is in... Uh... Where do I meet him? I forgot. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I'll just find it eventually, you know. Let's go the wrong way. So, yeah, today's video, more task. I just, I forgot where he is. Sorry, my bad. Just look for the green exclamation mark. That's it. But, um... I want to see, uh... The pawn shop. Because I haven't visited here for a while. I might do some... Hey, how's it going, Crow? Let's just talk to you for a little bit. Yeah, I did bad. I got three wrong. It's not even above average, I think. Alright, let's talk to you because uh looking for Sarah. She's... I know she wasn't in Trista. <laughs> nope. Hey, I'm here to buy something or exchange. Inspect tools. Oh yeah, these are the um you know they're expensive, man. Well, I'm gonna do some well, first things first, I'm gonna do that. So I can get more money. So, what is this? Uh, exchange? Uh, yeah, this is exchanging, but what can I trade? Ah. Nice. So, I can trade for these things for, uh, you know, whatever that required in the right side, but I don't even have. Oh, wow. You can even... I'll have to look this up off screen, but, you know, I'm just doing some, uh, you know, I'm just browsing. I'll do this stuff off screen, but, uh, Brown bait. You material. Wow. So it's just trading items. Oh well. I just came here to just do, uh, you know, uh, gardening shop. Yeah, let's talk to Fee real quick. The garden shop. Or oh, I just have to go right here? So more bonding. Oh look, the old man is back. Out of my way. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Let's talk to P. Let's bond with her. Because, you know, she likes uh, plants and garden and stuff. For the club. Yeah. I 
wonder why she likes garden. You know, should I give her a hand? Yeah, sure. Let's spend time with Pete. Okay, have fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, what you want to raise? What? What? Small bag filled with seeds and showed it to Reen. Flower seeds, don't know what they're called though. Should have a label on them. Someone gave it to me when I was in the corpse. Had. Oh, damn. You know how to raise them? Yep, they told me how. Raising them with love. Yep. Life's a garden. Dig it. <laughs> no. I don't know about much love, though. Corpse sounds so different from the image of these. A bit more violent and bloodthirsty, yeah. Like commandos or something. Jesus. Or Rambo. <laughs> I don't know. Can't blame you. Everyone's more concerned about negative Jaegers than anything else. Jeez. Nothing. Fertilizer, yep. Let's ask Jane for some advice and best way to raise them. Yeah, Jane's the one who owned the flower shop, you know. Yep, now we have to wait. Well, did you water them a little bit? That should do it. A few months if I raise them right. <laughs> Me too. Thanks for the help. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. So I guess I might check back there in a few months. I gotta remember, but I might forgot anyways. Nice. So I gotta remember this spot. Oh, hey, look. Barrels. Can I break it? Nope, I can't because I cannot draw my weapon. Yep. Hi, oh, Wolfie. Have fun, you know. You just sleep right next to your, you know, garden. <laughs> Alright, so I got two bond points left. Uh, oh yeah. Um, there it is, for the uh, side quest. So, hold on. Let's do that side quest. Um, get that out of the way a little bit. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. What button is it? Yeah. I might talk to Usus over there, but let's see. Damn. I'll maybe talk to Emma and uh, use this, but damn. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking about use this, but I guess next time. Or maybe. Ooh, a horse. But let's. Uh, I wonder why you're right here. Oh, it's a noble. The, the you know, the. Ah. Why I have to help you? Yeah, Vincent. Yep. Vincent Floral. <laughs> the Cupid. What the hell? So, but that's what. Yeah, class one. There's nobles. I'm no Cupid. Yeah. It's class seven. Yeah, but why are you hiding in here? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Because, you know, it's a side quest. I might as well try to do this one. Real quick. And then we have to find the girl, I guess. So I guess this is a secret. Sarifa is currently nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Father sent Sarifa to the academy to keep an eye on me. Part of me of the matter. To blunt, I have not one, not two, but three passionate love letters laid, huh? All from a single writer. 
nom de plume. What the heck? Most of you, my fine fellow, um, is to find out just which lovely lady is responsible for these. Yeah, sure, I'll find someone. I bet it's that lady from the <laughs> the cooking class. It's gotta be her. No, anonymous after all. She chose to use a pen name rather than remaining completely anonymous as proof of a pinning full heart. Okay. What's more, she sent cookies along with her third letter. Oh, cookies, huh? I bet she's in the kitchen, isn't she? Yeah. The first hint is that she is a... Fr oh, she's a first year. As a man, as well, first feeling of beautiful women. I was... Oh. I, w I knew someone, but, you know, but never mind. Exactly as a Grand Rose. You're telling me you've never heard of a Grand Rose? I know a regular Rose, you know, Red Rose, but... Grand Rose is a magnificent Crimson Rosa. Yeah. Passionate, romance, blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah, love letter. That's why this is a hit. The only way to obtain a Grand Rose in Trisha is to purchase it from the town florist. Yeah. Yeah, we have to ask the florist who purchased it. Yeah, it's one of these kind of, uh, we have to do some investigation, like who it is. More Scooby-Doo stuff. We'll do some backtracking. Grand Rose, I can only... Just... First year, baking cookies, and yeah, Rose. Important detail. Grand Maiden. A nickname taken from the daughter of a baron who made... Imperial family long ago. Huh. Grand Maiden, huh? Yep, gotta go there next. Alright, so, um, I'll think about you, sis, or I'll think about it in the next video. So, let's go to, um, let's go to the park right here. So I'm going to end the video right now. Um, yep, we got to talk to the floors. So I keep getting stuck from this thing. So next time, let's block this old man. Sorry, old man. Let's uh, take a little standing for <laughs> ending right here. What is this? So this is Ray on Trials of Cold Steel. Um, next time, we'll just do that side quest and do some more bonding. Yeah, and move on to the main quest and stuff. So yeah. Next video will be more, you know, task and stuff and bonding. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoy this and goodbye. Say goodbye, old man. Uh, goodbye.